everybody, my name is Graham Millwood and you are watching The Political Vigilante. Oh, thank God billionaires can just buy their way in. Isn't it a great democracy? We've got Mike Gravel, anti-war candidate, doesn't even get near the debate stage. But late in the ball game, Mike Bloomberg can just buy his way in. Tom Steyer bought his way in. Two billionaires just buying their way in. Mike Bloomberg is plowing millions of dollars into a secretive tech firm he founded months ago as he seeks the White House. Oh, wow. A secretive tech firm that he's going to use to combat the Republicans. Let me tell you something, Bloomberg. All right, Mike? You want to spend money on, on a better infrastructure for digital marketing of Democratic candidates? Do that. Why are you running? You have all this money. Here's what it's going to do. A technology company called Hawkfish with former executives from Facebook and Foursquare helping Bloomberg's 2020 presidential bid. Uh, after Hawkfish Incorporated started working on races in Virginia and Kentucky where Democrats scored ski vi key victories in November. That all sounds good, but are they real Democrats? Are they corporate Democrats? Are they actual progressives? Are they like socialists? You know, like the one on the Seattle City Council that Amazon spent $1.5 million to try and block? Are they Democrats like Joe Manchin, who basically is a Republican with a D next to his name in West Virginia? Or like former, she just lost, but Heidi Heitkamp? Or like the 188 Democrats that just voted to give Trump an increase to his war budget? All this happened during the impeachment stuff, so we didn't hear about it? Or is it the 219 Democrats in Congress that voted to extend the Patriot Act? Because this is just, well, we got to, this is the any blue will do crowd. He's a billionaire that was mayor of New York City as a Republican and an independent. New York City has a unique thing where you can run in two parties. So he, oh, he's an independent. He was still a Republican, a billionaire. A billionaire can just buy their way into anything, get themselves into a wine cave, whatever you want. The company's existence has not been previously reported. Oh, he kept it secret. Bloomberg's campaign disclosed details about the company after CNBC pressed him on it. Why are you hiding this? Why are you hiding this? You're working with Facebook. Bloomberg has said he will spend $100 million on anti-Trump digital ads. His campaign already spent 13 on Facebook and Google. Oh, good. Facebook and Google. They've been working hand in glove with the intelligence community. So that's good. That's a good use of money. A hundred million dollars on anti-Trump digital ads. Just what? Trump is bad? Trump bad, bad? Trump, Trump bad? He's corrupt? Of course Trump is corrupt. Did you spend a hundred million dollars when George W. Bush lied about weapons of mass destruction and got us into an illegal war? Did you spend a hundred million dollars back then, Bloomberg? When Obama took us from two wars to seven, did you spend a hundred million dollars? When Obama let... The banks steal 5.2 million people's homes, mine included. Did you spend $100 million on that campaign? One of the illegal war in Yemen, did you spend $100 million? The jailing of Chelsea Manning, no, you didn't spend $100 million on any of these things? Oh, okay. Have you done anything good with this money? His gun control group, Every Town for Gun Safety, outspent the National Rifle Association of Virginia and has received credit for helping Democrats flip the legislature. Okay, I'm down with that. If you just want to outspend the NRA to get gun reform, I'm all for that. I'm all for that. No, I don't want to take your guns away. But gun reform, yeah, kids getting shot in schools, that's awful. They're not crisis actors. Untreated mental illness, easy access to guns, pretty, pretty volatile thing. Why don't you just do that? Why are you running? Spend money on this? A hundred million dollars on anti-Trump ads? Oh, God. Why don't you back, you know, the only two non-corporate candidates in the race, Tulsi and Bernie. They're the only two candidates not taking corporate money. Ha, ha. Oh, but you're a billionaire. That's right. You're all friends. Here you are golfing with Giuliani, another mayor of New York. Trump, Bill Clinton. Epstein's, he was on Epstein's plane once, on Epstein's plane 26 times. Both know Prince Andrew. That's who your buddy's with. Oh, here he is, helping Trump at a golf course. Tell you what, Mike, 
Stop, this is, I'm, this just seems like some stupid rich guy ruling class golf course country club fight. Why don't you take your $100 million and end homelessness? How about do that? How about have affordable housing in New York City because it's completely unaffordable? Why don't you spend $100 million exposing the DNC's cheating? Why don't you spend $100 million on election reform and point out the fact that both Republicans and Democrats cheat? Both of them gerrymander. Both of them are crooked, filthy parties. Why don't you do that if you're such a so-called independent, but you're not, you're a billionaire. You're an offense to our, to our political system that you can just buy your way into being president. So if I had a billion dollars, I could just be president? I could run a presidential campaign? You and Tom Steyer have spent all this money and the two of you could fix so many problems just by writing checks? But no, you go to golf courses with your buddy Trump. That's what you do. Ugh, another guy not to trust or like. You and Tom Steyer, get out of the race. Quit. Put, build housing for the home. You know, there's a church in Southern California that just, it was in the news today, $5.3 million they spent to take 5,500 people's medical bills. They're just gonna pay them off. They found 5,500 people, poor, working class people, with crushing medical bills and they raised $5.3 million. I don't know where the money came from, but they got $5.3 million and they're just gonna, Merry Christmas, make 5,500 people's lives drastically better. You think buying anti-Trump ads, who's the, who's the, how is that gonna, what? Do something real with the golf courses and rich guys. That's not your, that's, that's, that's I'm, I'm so sick of this. You and Tom Steyer, oh, Trump's offensive to me. You're offensive to me. Billionaires are offensive. Trump's a billionaire, you're a billionaire. The ruling class is offensive to me. So if you're not willing to give up at least half of your money and just give it to people, help people, get people out of poverty, pay off people who are about to have to file bankruptcy, pay off their medical bills, get homeless people off the street, get them in housing, Get them food and clothing and dignity. Treat them like human beings. I mean, I know that you don't want them near your fancy golf course with a bunch of jack wagons wearing $3,000 suits. What'd that scarf cost, $1,500? There's probably $100,000 just in clothing and jewelry in this photo. More than I make in a year. Not even individual wealth, just what they're wearing. So Bloomberg, just spend the money on, the, on fighting the NRA and, and get out of the race. Just, just get out of the way. Because we don't need you. You're not gonna help with $15 an hour. You're not gonna help with Medicare for all. You're not gonna help with student debt forgiveness. You're not gonna help end these wars because to become a billionaire, you have to profit from all these filthy corporations. You have to be a real estate developer or a tech guy and screw people over. You're, you've been buddies with this guy for years, man. Don't act like suddenly, oh, he's some pariah. You're, you're all buddies. You're all buddies. You're all buddies. So spare me the like, whoa, Trump's an offense. To what? He's exposing that you all, you, got, you guys are all buddies with Epstein? You're all pedophile? Why don't you spend $100 million? Uh, why don't you just spend 10 grand to go get Jaleen Maxwell in handcuffs and bring her to the front door of the FBI. Why don't you do that? Why don't you and Tom Steyer put solar panels on every um, working family's roof? Why don't you do that? Why don't you go clean the water in Flint, Michigan that's now in its sixth year of contaminated water? Why don't you do that, Mike? and get out of our way and stop wasting our time pretending that Trump is some bad guy that you didn't just hang out at golf courses with. They won't tell you this on the corporate media, folks, and I don't get money from billionaires and developers and parasites, and I don't hang out with pedophile sex traffickers. If I did, I'd punch them in their face. You sicken me, Mike Bloomberg, and so does Trump. Trump's disgusting. If I was president, I'd lock up you and you and everyone in this photo. 
I'd lock up. I'd perp walk you. I'd perp walk you in an orange jumpsuit. None of you have ever worked a day in your life. And don't give me my dad grew up working in a salt factory. Shut up. Tell you what, Mike, why don't you give me a million dollars and I'll grow this channel and I'll just keep going after billionaires. Because I would, if you gave me a million dollars, Mike, I would still go after you. I wouldn't sell out. Like if you gave me $20 million, let's say I had a big network and I was given, I don't know, $20 million, I wouldn't suddenly start backing people like Liz Warren just because I was given $20 million. I'm just hypothetically talking out here. I'm not talking about anyone specific. Support the show, folks. Like, share, subscribe. I don't have people from big companies and Hollywood agencies backing me. I've got you backing me. I can do the show because of all of you. The people, the 99%, not the filthy golf club ruling class. I was a caddy when I was 13. I, I caddied for the wealthy. I'm sickened by them. Ugh. So I stopped playing golf because it's for these, it's for these, these jackasses. That could be affordable housing. That could be a nature preserve. Patreon.com slash Graham Elwood, Rockfin.com slash Graham Elwood. And all my tour dates, my social media, all of that are at GrahamElwood.com. Help me out. Google owns YouTube. They're throttling my views. They're unsubscribing people. Even with that, we're still growing. We're still at 58,000. I should be well over 100,000 subscribers. But people like this and their filthy golf courses don't want you to hear what I have to say. They want to tell you this, oh, impeachment's bad. We're all fighting. This guy, this guy's bad. But these guys are all great. Thanks for watching the show. Shave your knuckles for justice. We'll see you later.